both universally acknowledged that a zombie in possession of brains must be in want of more brains. Never was this truth more plain than in the recent attacks at Netherfield Park, in which an entire household was slaughtered by a horde of the living dead during a whist party. Who goes there? Who goes there? Darcy. Colonel Darcy. No zombie bite marks on this pristine young body. Father. Oh. How are you able to discern that the wound on my rib was from fencing? Been at this a long time, my son. I have no wound. Lovely bid, Mr. Kingston. More sherry for Mr. Kingston, please. <laughs> Darcy? Carry on. We have absolutely nothing to hide. Please, everyone, enjoy. Mr. Darcy? Colonel Darcy and Mrs. Featherston, I'm here on official business. There's been a report that somebody here has been bitten. Surely not. There hasn't been a zombie incident in Hertfordshire for over two years. I assure you we've taken every precaution. A newly infected zombie is almost impossible to detect until they've ingested their first human brains, at which point the transformation accelerates with every subsequent kill. Yes, we are all well aware of how it works, Colonel Darcy. Well, are you quite satisfied? Quite. Might I play a hand? Of course. Good evening. So, shall we? A pilsher? Flies, Mum. I beg your pardon? Carrion flies. They're in the possession of but one truly enviable talent. The ability to detect dead flesh. Oh, I've won the trick. <laughs> A very crafty player, Mr. Kingston. I dare say the buzzing is frightfully loud. Well, it's not the buzzing that should concern you, madam. But rather when the buzzing stops. Oh dear. Is there anyone else present whom he would have had the opportunity to infect? A family member, perhaps? Good evening. niece is here. There was no need to put that girl through Mr. Darcy's interrogation. Cassandra, come back! 
Annabelle, where are you? Annabelle?